Hi, I'm Leeds Allen, Senior Firmware Engineer at American Automatrix. I'm here today to talk about the BBCSD, one of our most popular touchscreen displays. The BBCSD is an integral part of any building automation project. It speaks to BACnet protocol, meaning that it will plug right into almost any building's HVAC system. With this device, you can view all of your building's zones and equipment, you can control the various schedules and overrides, and you can directly read and write to points if you need to adjust any system or building parameters. Heck, it can even diagnose the network's health, letting you verify if any controllers have failed due to lightning strikes or other issues. Using the display is easy and intuitive. All of the menus are clearly labeled and points can be mapped in and grouped in any way you choose, allowing for custom menus that quickly show you what you need to see. The result is that once it's commissioned, anyone with access to the display can intuitively use it without being trained on how to make it work. The BBCSD is designed with four different access levels. This means that the ability to modify any point can be opened up to anyone, or it can be reserved only for people with appropriate access privileges. Even if the display is mounted in a high traffic area, such as a lobby or a hallway, there's no need to place it behind a lock and key. No one is going to be able to change your temperature set points, schedules, overrides, or other sensitive points without having been granted the appropriate permission levels. We find that these displays are used in four very different ways. The first way is, of course, mounted on a wall and attached to a larger building automation network. In this way, it can be used by building owners, building occupants, and also HVAC contractors who maintain the building. Another popular use involves mounting the display directly on a BACnet compliant device or group of BACnet compliant devices. In this way, even without a broader building network to tie into, this display can still be used to directly control any generic BACnet device, eliminating the need to create a larger building network. Typical applications might be a rooftop unit, a variable frequency drive, or any other industrial equipment lacking a simple interface. The third common use of the BBCSD is as an on-site tool for HVAC contractors. The advanced network diagnostics built into the display allow it to be plugged into any BACnet MSTP network, where it can immediately find all of the controllers that are online, as well as statistics and information about each controller, even if they're set up as slave controllers. The fourth common use is again as a diagnostic tool, but in this case is a bench test tool. By loading the display with a generic configuration file set up to read and write to I.O. points on a controller, the unit can be plugged into any BACnet device, and once it finds the device, the technician can easily redirect all of the configured points to look at that controller. The result is a very simple, very fast way to verify if a pulled or new controller is working or if it has been damaged and in need of repair. So to summarize, the BBCSD is basically the Swiss Army knife of the building automation world. It can be mounted permanently to a large building automation network, or it could be carried from site to site or even tethered to a specific unit. The diagnostics that are built into it are useful in all three of these situations. And on top of that, the fact that it's so simple to use means that no one needs training to be able to walk up to it and make use of it. To purchase the BBCSD and its configuration software, BBCSD Pro Online, please visit www.bacnetcontrol.com. For available distributors, including alpscontrols.com and Kelly, visit www.bbc-sd.com.